Hey guys, welcome back to Vince Bell Customs. So today I'm sharing with you a custom statue of Lola Bunny, which I guess you could call a cosplay Lola Bunny. It's not like the official, um, you know, Looney Tunes, uh, you know, Bunny Girl. It's kind of more of a, you know, cosplay outfit of a real life type character, a uh, Lola Bunny. And this was made from the Sideshow Collectibles Power Girl. Now this was an item that I did on my live streams for the Patreon's Choice. Uh, I got this damaged Power Girl a while back and it was kind of like sitting in my uh, garage and one day in the garage what I decided to do was sort of chop her up and really kind of take down the anatomy a little bit. So her waist and her stomach and uh, the chest area, I really reworked all this and uh, sort of uh, changed things up a little bit here and there. And then uh, this is actually a different head. This is one of my custom heads that I made for the Power Girl. Uh, from Tony Cipriano a while back and I sort of added this onto the statue. So the way this came about is on my Patreon uh, page what I did is I put up a couple characters that I would like to do and work on and what we did is we voted and uh, basically Lola Bunny won and that's kind of how this came to be. So this is, I don't really have a lot of work in progress on her because this was stuff I was doing on Friday streams. So if you ever really uh, want to go back onto some live streams you can kind of see stuff that we worked on. Uh, so the head is uh, different from the Power Girl. The anatomy is changed up. Uh, I pretty much re-sculpted her hair, the uh, top of her outfit, the shorts, and then also the base and the shoes and all that stuff. So definitely went all out on this one as far as like the shoes and what kind of go over. I'm pretty happy with the way the shoes came out. Well, the sneakers, I guess you can say. Um, but the whole idea was it's a cosplay girl. She's sort of like, you know, maybe on the basketball court and uh, Bugs, uh, you know, Bunny is kind of broken up the court uh, and kind of coming up underneath her and getting like a little bit of an eyeful over it, which is actually kind of funny. Um, and it was a really good idea how that came to be. Uh, so you could kind of see uh, sort of how Bugs is sort of, you know, broken up with the dirt in the, you know, basketball court. Or you could say gym locker room or wherever you want to say the character is. And then basically he's there with his tongue out and everything. So that's actually a 3D item uh, that was printed for this. Um, it was one of these things you could find at CG Trader. And then also the basketball was 3D printed as well. Um, we just had to me uh, sort of... Uh, you know, come up with a good size where the basketball could go under the arm because I didn't really know where I would put the basketball and I thought it would be kind of cool to put under her arm. Uh, now, uh, Raz from my live streams, he is the one who uh, printed these out for us. If you ever hop in my live streams and you connect with him and you're looking for a 3D printer uh, guy, he definitely does some great work and he got these done pretty fast. And basically, once I measured it out and I told him what I needed, he worked it out pretty well. So things came out pretty good with that. So we'll kind of work, uh, we'll kind of start from the top and we'll go down. So like I said, this was a custom head uh, that I had done for my old Power Girls. And I had extra, extra copies and stuff. So what we did is I added the head and I re-sculpted the anatomy on the neck and the chest and everything. And it basically tilted the head a little bit. And then I sculpted the hair. I wanted to give it, of course, like Lola Bunny's hair where she has this little poof coming up over here. And then she has her hair tied up in a ponytail except I exaggerated the ponytail and I did a little bit of a work coming around here like it's kind of like flowing uh, it's kind of like fun to do stuff like this and just kind of go overboard and just kind of have fun with it um, and it's a it's a cosplay girl I guess you can say so I mean it's sort of like uh, it's just something different so I pretty much sculpted I think I added a rod there too and I added eaves and I kind of just reworked it and I added all the stuff around there and everything and did that now uh, also, uh, you can tell the top has got under boob on her, and the reason we did under boob is I, uh, I asked people in streams, what should we do, and if most people said do the under boob, it would look kind of cool, and that's what I did. I mean, it, these items are sort of like, get people on the stream to give me some feedback, whether it's an item I just throw on the stream and I ask people on the stream what they want to see, or it's whether we vote on uh, Patreon and how it comes to be. So, it's kind of just like interaction, just a mess around. Like, my Friday stuff is kind of just like to unwind, kind of do this stuff live. Um, I, it's kind of hard, though, to do a lot of this stuff on streams because I have to really, like, fine-tune it stuff. And sometimes with the camera on my, in my way to show you guys what's going on, it's kind of hard. But that's why I kind of let these, like, items for the streams happen. So I find them either cheap, broken, or people are like, hey, I got a damn statue, just pay me shipping, and you can have the item. And I use them for streams and stuff like this. So then after uh, I did all the anatomy and I got the shirt done and all that stuff because there was metal rods up in there and all that stuff, 
I did all the rework on this and we sculpted the shorts and um, I have to say the shorts came out pretty cool. I really like the way the shorts came out. Um, definitely wanted to do some booty shorts for her so we'll definitely give you a nice booty shot on that so you can see how they were. And of course, you know, they don't come up like thongs. These shorts kind of come there. So we talked on stream. I said, you want to do it where we see a little bit of the booty there? And people are like, yeah, and stuff. And we, of course, you have to give her a tail. Now, even though that it may be in camera, the hair here and the tail look the same. They're actually not. They're a little bit different. But I didn't glue the tail in because I figured, you know what? Just in case it breaks or something happens, it's better just to kind of leave it loose. So it's just a metal rod that kind of goes in there and it kind of connects. But the basketball, I definitely had to uh, attach it in there. Uh, there's a rod that goes up into the basketball. This was all hollowed out, and I put A's in there, locked it in place, and then I, the other day I sort of kind of cleaned this glove up to make it look like it's pushing because it was very hard to get this basketball in there without it breaking and stuff, and I really didn't want to do that. Uh, so that's kind of that. And then uh, for her sneakers, I have to say this is the first time I really sculpted sneakers from scratch, and I have to say they came out pretty good. These are actually like uh, Adidas All Stars, and these are kind of like the sneakers I wear. Um, so I figured it would be kind of cool to give her these. So what, after I sanded down Power Girls boots and everything, and I reworked it, I, uh, I sculpted these uh, sneakers on stream, and I think they came out pretty well. So basically, I had to kind of create the pattern. I forgot how, of course, like I said, I forgot how I did it all because it was just a little bit each week. And basically, I kind of created the stripes and everything. And then once I got all that done and I lined up the uh, laces, I had to do the laces each like day and each week and a little bit here and there. Uh, but they worked out pretty good. Um, and this is just a generic uh, round base I made. And then I did all this, uh, these are actually popsicle sticks that I stained, but I cut them up and I sanded them down and I put, uh, I think it was eaves and I kind of did it where this foot would kind of like work with the dirt, like, you know, you know, bugs is coming up. Cause I had to come up with an idea of how am I going to put her in a basketball court with this foot hanging up? And then that's when I got the idea of like bugs kind of going underneath after, uh, I think somebody on stream mentioned this, uh, bugs is on a CD trader and then we snagged the file. Um, and I just did a simple, like, uh, you know, um, marble round base because I figured, uh, this base was kind of banged up and I completely forgot to like really sand it down after I did all this stuff. So instead of doing black base, I just kind of did that and I think it worked out pretty well. Um, now as far as paint work goes, uh, she might look a little bit different in the lighting and stuff, but she is more of a tanner, uh, skin tone than what I normally do. Um, I wanted to make the skin a little bit tan because if you look at Lola Bunny from uh, Looney Tunes her fur is kind of more of like a tannish fur a little bit darker than like normal skin tone I would like paint so we kind of mixed up a batch and we did that so she has a little bit more of a tanner look to her and also with the white outfit it pops a little bit more and then doing this platinum uh, like blonde hair with some pearls in there um, really really uh, kind of gives it a different look on her skin which is kind of cool um, if you look at Lola Bunny's hair, she's got like whitish sort of uh, raw sienna, but it's kind of muted down with well, white paints, and then I added white pearl on it to make it silky. So it's a little bit, it was a little bit tricky, but after you do that and you get against the skin, it looks pretty cool. Um, now as far as her eyes, uh, she has green eyes, I guess. Uh, I saw... I, I looked at the animated movie and she had green eyes, so I did those green, uh, whereas some drawings have her blue and stuff, so I thought the green would look pretty good. Now, one of the hardest things about picking this character, what I was worried about, was how am I going to do her logo on her shirt? How the hell am I going to do that? So, Frank from uh, Evolution X uh, Studios that does all these eye decals now that I'm starting to use, um, I reached out to him and I said, hey man, can you do me some custom decals? And he said, yeah. So he did me custom decals on the shirt logo and it worked out perfect. I mean, once I put the decal in water, it sort of came off the paper very fast and I put it onto the item on her chest. And then I used a little bit of a uh, um, solvent to sort of kind of like, you know, melt it on there. And once it melted, it went on perfect. It had no issues with tearing or anything. And then after that, what I did is I did some uh, very light white uh, paint dabs with a sponge to make it look like it's a worn out item. And then I flattened it with some uh, uh, flat uh, matte varnish and that worked out pretty well. 
Now, as far as our outfit goes, like I said, it might not show well in the camera, but we were working on stream, and there is some white, and there is some shading of gray, but there's also some purple in there. So there is an actually like a little bit of a purple tint in the white. It's probably very hard to see, but it's there. But with her shoes, though, I made them a little bit dirty. I wanted to make the shoes a little bit older looking, and I didn't want to make them too clean. So I figured uh, I did like a lot of dabbing and washing and dry brushing with that, and that worked out pretty well. Uh, for bugs, we talked about it on the stream, but we're going to do black eyes, but people mentioned, why don't you do hearts on the eyes? And that's the cool thing about the streams is people kind of throw in some ideas and some feedback, and then that's how we got the heart on his eyes. And he is removable from the base, too. So she's removable... The tail's removable and he's removable with just a simple rod because uh, I was very worried about, you know, like gluing him in and then uh, pretty much it breaking. Um, get my glasses on, make sure, there we go. And it works out pretty well. There's no magnets and stuff, he just goes on pretty well. Now, as far as this item, uh, nobody uh, in the Patreon expressed interest in it because usually I give everybody from Patreon first dibs if they're interested in an item I'm doing, but no one's really... Uh, put in the interest about maybe purchasing it. So she's going to end up on eBay probably. And then what happens is whatever she sells for on eBay, I use that money to fund other projects for the live stream. So it's kind of like a rotation going where this item I get from somebody or I find it damaged. I throw it up on eBay, whatever it sells for, we use those funds to find another item and we go from there. And it just keeps the rotation going and fun stuff. So it's kind of like just interaction with people and they can see how I work. I can see what ideas other people like and we go back and forth. So there you go, that is Lola Bunny sort of superhero cosplay, I guess that's what we'll kind of call her. Uh, it's kind of a really cool look and it's kind of cool just to see something a little bit different. So let me know what you guys think. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you want to see more stuff like this down the line where it's kind of like, you know, it's a cartoon character but it's like a cosplay, you know, with a superhero statue? And that's what I'm trying to do more and more as like, time goes on. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching and we'll be back with some more videos.